This is Arya Citrin, and we are learning the Mimer, the end of the Mimer of Zehadavar Hatzil Hashem, and it starts at um, Pei Aleph side four, and we're going to be learning Pei Beis um, as well. So the uh, Mishnah talked about um, vows lead to separation, which leads to holiness, which leads to fear of sin. So here's how we explain to holiness, that a person realizes that the physical stuff of this world is a higher spiritual source, and it is what enables us to connect to the level of Hashem that's beyond the world in cervical Amen through performing the mitzvahs. A person who realizes this will come to anivas, he will come to humility. When he realizes that he on his own does not have this revelation, he needs the physical things in order to have the revelation. This humility will bring him to Yerashet, will bring him to fear of sin. Fear of sin means that he comes to understand the significance of physical actions. Physical actions have great repercussions, both in the terms of the positive, like we said before, and in the negative. That the pagam, the blemish that a sin can do, or even the lack of a mitzvah, or even not keeping a rabbinic law, can reach the level that's beyond Havaya, beyond the source of this entire world, all of the worlds. When a person realizes that, he will have a U.S. he will fear, he'll be afraid of um, doing this sin. And well, there puts this back into the Pasuk that we start the Parsha of Matas with, that Moshe spoke to the Rosh Hashem Matas. Uh, Moshe is the source that allows a person to have Rosh which is the beginning, and that's a Rosh even an awakening of the heart which will lead him to have mata, which is to turn his animal uh, instinct into a positive one. And when he does this, he can have the concept of zehadavar shatziva Hashem, that he can speak in such a way that his actual mouth is speaking Hashem's wisdom, because he's nullified himself to Hashem. And in order to maintain this level, he has to have the dorim, which is what we learn about in the uh, parsha, And the neder will help him achieve separation from these physical pleasures like we discussed. So in order to make the nether, he has to recognize that all of the physical things in this world are on a higher spiritual level than him. And that's why the concept of a nether is to compare an item to a carbon. Just like a carbon has greater holiness, and we don't want to desecrate that holiness, so too a person recognizes the higher spirituality in all the physical things, and therefore he does not want to benefit from it in a way that might draw that down spiritually rather than lifting it up, and therefore he makes the vow to separate himself from it. Nowadays, we don't have such a great um, power in our speech to bring about this kedusha by saying that this should be like a carbon, and therefore we prefer to simply say blinader and not to make a vow. We also start the next mimer, which is a B or an explanation of the previous mimer, and it talks about Ochar Vekedem Lemaisi Bereshis, how man is created last and first. And Aldab explains that the world of Atzilus is the world of Tikkun, where there is a perfect blend and mix of the Oyos and the Kalim, the revelations and the levels that contain those revelations, which we call Kalim. And there was a level that was beyond the realm of Atzilus, which is associated with the 63 letter, letter name of Hashem. That level was too intense, as a result of which, the energy that was in the kalim of that level, that energy broke, so to speak, and the kalim became separate. And that's why we have 288 spiritual sparks that are scattered throughout the world, which are alluded to in the word, word mirachefas, upon amayim, the beginning of the creation story, it says mirachefas, the spirit of Hashem was mirachefas upon amayim. That is the letters of Reish Pei Ches Meis, 288 sparks that are dead, so to speak, that are separated from their source. And that's why this world has so much yesha, so much ego, and such a sense of being separate from Hashem, because when there's a break between the Ur and the Keli, the light and the container of that light, when there's a break there and it's not containing it properly, that's when you have a sense of separation because it's not feeling the revelation, so to speak. Nevertheless, we, our job is to bring the connection that is revealed in the realm of uh, Atzilus, to bring that revelation into this world. And that's why the ten utterances come from the realm of Atzilus, yet they come into this world to create this world. And that signifies that we are supposed to bring 
that connection of Hashem, of Atzilus, into this world to fix it and to bring the balance back so that all of these levels should once again reunite with their source and once again contain the holiness in a measured manner. So that is a brief synopsis of page pay base.